up guys so uh back in texas as you've seen from the uh the driving vlog i hope you like that that was kind of different so anyways today we uh got to haul some cattle out of the local well coliseum in fort worth going out you know out out of town a little bit it's probably about 75 mile drive anyways today we're finally going to get to use the big truck my brother's big truck so it's a uh 2003 peterbilt 330 it's got an 8.3 liter Cummins and a six-speed Allison automatic. And it's a swabble conversion. Uh, it's really, really nice. So we bought it. It's an 03 model with 150,000 miles on it. And yeah, you can't beat it. It's four door. The back seat turns into a bed. It's got two 50 gallon tanks underneath and it's got a 110 gallon tank here. Uh, we don't use that one because it doesn't need it. It also has a uh, air ride fifth wheel along with an air ride truck yeah. air ride cab and air ride seats and then this here is our 40 by 7 6 wilson punch out uh it's just the best trailer ever if you've ever hauled cattle and you haven't hauled with one of these you are missing out but anyways today i'm gonna do a, a little overview of towing with this truck it is just an absolute beast i mean for only 300 horsepower which was a lot back in the day it still pulls like a champ i mean we're gonna throw a little something something to it here pretty soon but uh for now it runs really 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 well it'll run 80 no problem with the full load of cattle uh but interesting note the truck only weighs 10.5 which isn't <laughs> my son's blowing the horn uh but anyways yeah so <laughs> We're going to uh, make a video about ha uh, hauling with this today, and it uh, should be nice. We're rolling with two pots, uh, so it'll be a pretty good little video. Anyways, guys, I uh, hope you enjoy. All right, guys, we are loaded up and uh, headed out. I got 34 head, got to go about 70 miles, I believe. And uh, yeah, so the truck's been doing good. We had about an hour wait to get loaded out. It's kind of a pain to get out right there. I hate taking places like that, but sometimes you got to do what you got to do. But anyways, we're going to get on the road here. All right, here we are, guys. We're about to get on the highway. None of y'all are familiar, we're in a Peterbilt 330. It's an 03 model with an 83 Cummins and a six-speed Alice and automatic. We got it all loaded up. We got 20,000 pounds of beef on the 40 by seven foot Wilson punch out. And we're about to get on the interstate here. Uh, I'm gonna show y'all a little acceleration video. The truck does really good for only having 300 horsepower, but it's got a shitload more torque than my truck, <laughs> if you can imagine that. But we're gonna get on the road here as soon as the light's green and uh, show you how it accelerates. It also has an exhaust brake instead of a real engine brake, uh, which is kind of disappointing, but it's what they had whenever they built the truck, but it works pretty good. It's really nice because the uh, whenever you hit the switch for the exhaust brake, the Allison downshifts a whole bunch and it works really, really well. Hopefully here in just a second, we'll be get going. Here we go. I 
wish it had more gauges, like a boost gauge and a drive pressure gauge, but uh, can't be that lucky. But we're gonna get there and we get my brother to put a monitor in here so we can monitor everything. I'm only about three quarter throttle and uh, gets up to speed real quick. We're doing right at 45 now. Engine temperature is running right at 180. And we're climbing a pretty decent grade here, also getting on the interstate.
here in just a second. I'm gonna have to back off the throttle and slow down. And uh, I'm not gonna hit the brakes, I'm just gonna let it down chips and show you guys how it, go how it goes. So it's downshifting and I'm not even getting on the brakes yet. We're coming downhill at the same time. It'll, it'll downshift another hole here in just a second. This is with the exhaust brake activated as well. Like I said, we're coming downhill. Exhaust brake will, will stay activated all the way till idle. I think it shuts off at about 850 RPM. All right, we're on our last little five mile trek here, and I'll catch up to you when we start getting unloaded. Next time guys i'll get a video during the daylight and uh get some video of me loading and unloading some places don't like uh, you video and loading their cattle you know because people get all butt hurt about things like that these days anyways we got about a 35 mile drive home and then that'll be calling in the day if you have any questions about this truck or want to see some more videos with it uh let me know and we'll see what i can do thanks for watching guys like and subscribe